Hi everyone, we're going to cover the Easy Columns plugin option and its use inside the visual editor. Now, Easy Columns is best reserved for things that you want to make look like they are appearing in a table. Or let's say if you want to take a web page, split it in half and have some stuff on the left and some stuff on the right, that's when you want to use Easy Columns. It's a really nice thing that allows you to create content, modify it inside your visual editor without having to revert to the old fashioned method of creating an HTML table, which is a nightmare. When it's in action and set up properly, it looks very, very nice. And it's very easy to use and gives you an end product that looks like this. Now here in this individual page, we have a heading tag and then we are listing some various races, categories, things like that. But really it's just a detailed list in a two column format. So over here we have some content and over here we have some content. Now to add this to the Easy Columns plugin, it's very simple. So now we are going to give a quick demonstration on some fake content just to make things a little bit simpler. Let's say I have a title and then I have some content over here for the left hand side and then some for the right hand side. All I have to do is click on the then option right there to get my cursor in front of the then. Then I go up to the easy columns button. Now remember if you do not have the plugin enabled you will not see this so you, are, you will need to enable that plugin. We click on easy columns. We want it to be half and half so we click the half and half option. It will give us some code right here where it says half column. Then another one where it says half column. Now what that's telling me is to add what I want to be in the left hand side. We're going to cut and then paste it over where it says half column. And then we are going to add some stuff for the right. We're going to cut and paste that over that half column. Now I took off the column styling below of this just for reference. So when we preview the changes, it's going to look a little bit bad below hand it's because we're removing the column. So, but here for the demonstration, we have the title here. We have the content on the left and the content on the right. So how we set it up when we want to have a nice big long list appear in a nice table format is we actually create this to look like this without any styling of columns beforehand. Meaning we've gone in, we've given this perhaps an H2 tag, we've set the juniors and classic amateur headings to be a heading four style and then we've used uh, bullets to list this without indentation. You know, of course you don't have to use the bullets if you do not want to. But then we create this as one nice long list and then we are going to split this up roughly in the middle which would be right around here. So what we do is we edit the page and then we're going to delete this information up here and then replace it. Now of course you can copy and paste your content into your column tags but sometimes it's just simply easier to copy and paste the tag itself and then move it in front. It is up to you. For this demonstration I'm going to just show you how to copy from juniors to the amateur king. We're going to hit control X to cut it and copy it our, to our clipboard and then we're going to hit control V and paste it. You can always use a right click if you want to as well. And then we have this stuff for the right. So I'm just going to delete that to make it look a little bit easier. And then I'm going to highlight this little snippet of code inside the brackets 
hit cut, and then paste it at the bottom. So now when we add columns, we always want to make sure that it's even on both sides, meaning right here we have a, a return spacing and then the juniors tag starts. And then right here, we have the start of the second column. And then we have grass drag classes and payouts. And then the outlaw king starting several spaces below the actual tag. So when we preview it online, it looks a little uneven. We have some extra white space on the right hand side and it doesn't really match on the left. So I hope I'm not confusing you by purposely messing up the actual layout. But I'm going to actually cut this classes and payouts heading. We're going to paste it over where our title is. And then we're going to make sure that the junior start is down here. One space. And then right here, we have a bunch of extra spaces for the start of the second tag to the outlaw text. So we're just going to remove that information by hitting the delete key a couple times. Hit it one too many times. You can always hit undo by hitting control Z or going up to this option right here where it says undo. And then when you have that extra space and you want to remove it, instead of hitting the delete key, you can always hit the backspace key to delete this little carriage return right here. And then let's preview this to see if it's been cleaned up and nice and even. Now here we have the title of the table outside of the actual easy column style tags. Then we have our columns matching over here and our columns matching over here. And then down here where you see this little snippet, that's actually outside the end of the easy column tag here, and that's the rest of our content. Now one nice way of breaking up tables is to add images or things like that. For more information on how to do that, please see the corresponding help videos.